Today we're looking at an abandoned mansion with a nuclear bunker in the garden. This is in Tunbridge Wells in Kent, and from what we understand, an author who had a religious belief system, uh, wrote books about religion and Rennes Chateau and the Holy Grail. He had a bunker in the back of his house, so clearly thought that the world was going to come to an end. So we're uh, somewhere on a road and we're going up a hill. Let's do it. Up we go. Up we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Bloody hell. I think we've uh, done it. We're in. <laughs> That's my it. Radio's going off in my back. Your radio's going, yeah. Yeah, watch you don't slip on the glass. Wow. So it's amazing, isn't it? It's just like somebody's just left a mansion here. That's pretty crazy. How is this uh, abandoned then? How is it even abandoned? Oh, they've got containers, shipping containers. Oh yeah, it's got boarded windows. I mean, how can you just have like an abandoned place like this? I mean, it's, just, it's in such a bloody affluent area. I just don't understand. It just does not compute to me. All this land, man. All this land and stuff. Any wood? Yeah, bit of wood. Dear, dear. Oh, to have too much money. Yeah, well, anyway, we're Paranormal Explorer 666. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for. Blast. Thanks for this pin. Thank you, that's all right, you're welcome. You've took me loads nice places. Yeah, well. Can't believe this is just abandoned, but there we are. Right, I'm going to get my torches on so we can get inside. <laughs> um, right. Again. So we're just going to go and have a look around this place. Come drone man now, look. Um, my little wee drone. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, it was. Let's have a look then. Yeah. So here we are. Millionaire mansion pad. Abandoned as usual. How the hell is this just left? I mean, look at it. Garages for multiple cars. Sheds, outhouses. You know, the house itself. I mean, come on, folks. I mean, this, it just, it's not, it just doesn't even compute. Look, more garages, places you can do work, more sheds out the back. I mean, 
it's not even funny. What? I don't even find this funny. You know, the more I see these bloody places like this, just left and people have walked away, the more I, I just want to be sick. Look at this play area, you know, for the kids. Mess around, you know, work. Let's do some work in the place. Yeah, right. Huh. And there's me crammed in a tiny bloody little house and spit, you know, pain through the bloody nose for it and then you've got people like this and they're just like ah oh, yeah it's just one of our houses yeah can't be bothered with it mm. I mean, what, what was the what's the story with the people who like you know did they just get murdered in the middle of the night then because I mean why would you walk away and leave something like this Oh, yeah, hmm, yeah, just loads and loads and loads of stuff just strewn around all over the place, too much money, too much entitlement, but, you know, you or I would get told off for playing our music too loud, yeah, they could have a whole bloody, you know, six day rave and nobody would even know what was going on, but all the stuff in here. Look, they got bloody mowers, mowers and tools and tool shed. Crazy, 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 crazy. Oh well. Oh well, they have that half live, eh? Money, no object. Now why don't they just have somebody living here just to take care of the bloody place? This is what I don't understand, you know. You have somebody living in a place, it gets looked after. You know, you walk away from it and it just gets trashed, set on fire, the whole nine yards. What? Oh, that's all right then. Well, at least you've had a practice run. <laughs> There's even more buildings, like, I mean, buildings and buildings and buildings and buildings. You've got, like, some sort of, what's this, a chicken run or animal pen? What the hell is this? Whoop. I don't know. Not really. Well, I don't know, it goes back a bit, it's just a couple of rooms. But, oh, there is something that goes down. I think that could be it. Yeah, there's like uh, steps or something. That is weird. Yeah, no, that no, it's got a weighted door. Yeah, somebody's put logs in front of you because they don't want people coming in. You hold that for us a sec. Turn the gloves on, and I'm going to pull these logs out of the way because we need to get in there. Let me. Get out we do need to get in, I'm afraid, folks. It's a <laughs> requirement. Whoa, that is heavy. I don't think you're going to be able to move it. Jesus. Might have to just climb over the top of it. Yeah, I'm going to have to. It's not going to be easy, then. Should have bought my ladder. <laughs> Bunker. You think it is? Yeah. Oh my god. That is weird. Is it? That is weird, yeah. Can it, is it? Yeah, look. It's definitely got some sort of waiting waiting thing, but this can't be it. Well I dunno. Yeah, but that's that's like a hatch. Maybe this is a way in or another way in or out. What the hell? So you have to have to do something to get it to to go back. It might take two of us to pull it. I 
Unless there's another way in. There might be. This might be an escape thing. Might be another bunk. <laughs> well. Another one. I can't. Oh, it has steps. It has steps. Yeah. Unless they've recently put that there to... Well, that's a counterweight, so what we have to do is get something in underneath it yeah. and try and pull it up. But, hang on. Here we go. This might work. How the hell are you supposed to do this then? People have been going in it. You know what I reckon they've done, Matt? What I reckon they've done, see the freeze box? See the freeze box? Yeah. They've been put there because it probably pulls up. But then it can be pulled up. So that's what I think. Right. Might be that you have to go underneath here like this. How you do this? Well, I don't know. Yeah, I think we're going to need a few of us to lift it. Yeah, but is it? Is it? This is an escape shaft, like out of the back. Yeah, it might be. Yeah. Well, I'm going to turn my camera off for a minute. Right, Hi. there he is. Hello. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so this cool. is the bunker. Yeah. Oh, your, 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 eye, your, eyes are sh your eyes are shining. Oh, God. What? Your eyes are shining. Have you got like contacts in or something? No. He's got, got hay fever. fever. Oh, all right. Really itching, so I yeah, weird. <laughs> Right, well, if you hold on to, can you hold on to my camera, Claire, whilst, I, oh, whilst we need... try it, because this is going to take at least two yeah. of us, right? Yeah. Oh, the hoover, two blokes. oh, right, yeah. you've seen it, yeah? <sighs> Shit. Right. Oh. Whoa, look at that. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, just make sure. Let me it? pass it back to Matt. Yeah, I'll watch the video then. And my mate told me, put this up. Keep it safe. He's coming in here on his own as well. Yeah. Right, yeah. Well, it is what it is, isn't it? <laughs> let us out. I don't know, you need to let one of them know we're going in. We could probably push it with two of us underneath. The two of us going for it. Yeah, that'd be alright. Here it is, then, folks. New stock bunker. Fully stocked bunker. See, now in the 1980s, when they were telling people, like, oh, stay in your house and you won't have, you know, just pull a bed sheet over you. <laughs> Rich people like this, see, they don't just have, like, houses and party spaces. They also have their own bloody nuclear bunkers. I mean, come on. You're serious? Oh, no, my God. Oh, my God. It gets a lot better. It's not just, it's not just a normal door. Oh, my God, they've actually made a proper, serious... Bunker door. Look, a sump there. There's a sump. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. And it's designed to be sealed in as well. Look, the door. And seal it. Seal themselves in. This is sick. Oh my god. Look, electrics and pipes and water. I wonder if the water works. No. What doesn't work? Well, so it can roll. You roll that door. You roll that door on this, on this here, and it rolls that towards that, and then you screw it on on the back. So look, that's the that's the um, is that a heater. That's a heater. So you burn stuff in that. Bloody hell! 
stuck Can you me. believe this? Yeah. Can you believe this? I can't believe somebody built this yeah, it's underneath their house. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So they've got a decontamination unit, look. It's a decontamination unit. I believe it, look, that's the door. And it's a decontamination unit, so if they're coming in and out, look. Decontaminate themselves in this room. Wow. Oh my God. No way. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh look at these bot look at these balls. What the hell are they? They're not as heavy as I thought. <laughs> yeah. There's some big balls in here. Wow. Air, air filtration. Air filtration. You can put a manual handle on this and wind it yourself to get the air in you. Wow. Really? Yeah, it's got a container, all these books and a container outside. Look. Still in the packs. Sparkomatic power meter. This is an amplifier. Oh, that's good. Does it? Does it? Down, yeah. yeah. There's enough stock in here to last a couple of years. Right. That's me. Bloody phone deciding to tell me something. Come on, phone. Right. Right. This is radio gear. So these are ante antennas. Yeah, antennas. So we can communicate with the outside. Um, outside. Look, look, burst pressure. You know what that is? This is so he can tell. What is that? He can tell burst pressure how much the bomb has been outside. Burst really? pressure. Yeah. Do you know what this reminds me of? That film that we watched with the bunker and the ground. Yeah. What? Um, um, Blast from the past. No. What's the film? Cloverfield, but. Yeah. Cloverfield. Um, the other one. <laughs> Where well, in the house, under the bunker, under the ground. Yeah, but this is all radio amateur gear, so he can, commu right, he can communicate gear. with the outside yeah. world. Is that what that is? It's radio amateur gear, so he can communicate with Where's people. That? Oh, that? What? I don't know. Yeah, oh, look, yeah. bed. He'd be sleeping on this, look, in these, on these little um, plastic bubbles, look. Yeah, he is battery Yeah. So the bubble. Wow. So, doorway. In. Right. Look, he's got... He's got uh, hydrochloride acid, sodium hypochlorite. Now, sodium is actually a salt, and it can be used in very small amounts in water which has been collected, such as rainwater or water that's been stored for a long time in outdoor vessels. And it's basically to kill off any germs and bugs. But it has to be used correctly and in small amounts, but it's for drinking water purification. Wow. Oh wow, food's gone off, no. luncheon meat, luncheon meat, mouldy dog food, oh no, yeah yeah, there's porter, porter loos in there, and a sump to send wastewater to the surface, pump it out there, uh, this is an underground container, shipping container. He's put it in underground. So I wonder if he submerged a shipping container. Yep, he did. He submerged He submerged a shipping container. So he dug it out and put the shipping container in here. Wow. No, beds for how many people? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight people in here. Eight people. And lockable doors. Maybe you want to lock them in here. Potassium chlorate, yeah, various drugs, drugs. So, so not only did he have this expensive house, he was look, he was going to look after himself after a nuclear war. Whilst everybody else is dying, he's all right. He's looking after himself. Look at this. Halcyon. What type of thing is this? And a heater. What is it? Halcyon. Do not block the air grills. Jet sizes. Pilot light. Some sort of heater. It's a gas heater of some description. Some sort of heater. Dairy hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite. Wonder why they would need so much of that. It's all full up, look. 
dairy hypochlorite. Why would he need so much of that stuff? Electric heaters. So you must have a generator in here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, grease gun. Grease gun. For greasing stuff up. A little chair. But this is the um, multivitamin, glycerin, kaolin and morphine. This is all old stuff though. I mean, you know, this is like, I reckon this is like 15, 20 years old, min minimum. Probably older than that. This is uh, stuff to fix stuff. Wires, wiring, light bulbs, light bulbs, uh, pipes, plastic, uh, plastic pipes down there. Wow, all the food. Look, the, the door works, works a treat. The old door works. But this is old. This is old food. Hunt's low, tolery, uh, low calorie tonic water. Sparkler. So there's a, there's a toilet in here, it says. It's a men's toilet. Look. There's uh, ooh, generators in here. Look, there's the Jenny. Big old generator. That would use a lot of fuel. And uh, some sort of washroom. Washing room. This would be the key to living in something like this because without power, it ain't gonna last long. You are not gonna be lasting long in a place like this. Now, I don't know what's behind this, but you know, if anything went wrong with this engine, you are screwed. So, hmm, you would be very screwed. So look at that. Manual hand start. Wonder if it works. The hand start works. Oh, it comes off. I know that. Oh, there you go. There we go. Oh, oh it's very stiff. Let's flip the decompressors off. All right, turn now. Yeah, seized. Seized on. Seized on, so I'd have to have a bit of work done on this to get that moving. I thought I'd see a homemade nuclear bunker of this quality. Wow. Wow. It's mad this place, isn't it? Oh man. It's like Oh. I mean whilst there's dinner left, still there. Yeah, whilst everybody was being told to like wow. stay in their houses and just put like a blanket over themselves or something. Yeah. You know, just hide under your stairs and this this guy, millionaire mansion. Yeah. Strike not is is step number two. Mm. Yeah. So those are portable toilets you get from caravans. Cassettes, I think they call those. This is like 70s, 80s, this is, isn't it? I love it. I'd say before that. Yeah, ladies' toilet here. Yeah. It's just a shower room, really. They call it a toilet, but it's, it's just a shower room. Colgate. I wonder when this was. Uh, this was like you know. Runs out. Does it even say? I think it's before. This is before the the times when they had to say when it would run out. Oh, this would tell you when it's going to run out. Anadin. Look. Uh, doesn't say. Doesn't say. Lot J seven. Oh, and this is crazy. Why is it? What's that thing got dates on it? Look, oh, look, loads of TCP. TCP. 
stuff to make it smell nicer down here. Old Lux soap. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty mad. Pretty mad. Look, stand up there and show yourself. Oh, look, there's a dead bird. Matt, what's your question? What's that? I don't know. Sodium hypochlorite. Uh, it's a uh, sodium hypochlorite. I, I don't really, I don't really know what it would be used for, but it might be for putting in water to to disinfect it. Okay. Because there's an awful lot of it. Oh my God! There's loads of salt under it. Yeah. Get some cleansing. <laughs> I'm imagining it might be something to do with cleaning the water. But yeah, you'd have to filter the water because actually, of radioactivity anyway. I'm shocked. I didn't know it was like this. I've seen it. I've not watched it. Yeah. I've seen bits of it. But I'm shocked it's like this. Now this looks like, I was going to say, this is a um, positive pressure filter. Yeah. So basically the air, the air pumps out there yeah. would pump air in. And as they pump air in, this would let it out. You see how light it is? It would, it would let the air out. But then when, when you turn the, um, the filter off, it wouldn't let any more air in it. Chunk close. So yeah, you only you run that. you run the pump for the air yeah. every once in a while. Yeah. But yeah, you can't keep the generator on all the time because the amount of fuel it would take. So uh, you nice. might even have to manually. Uh, Look at him. It's mm. just... Yeah. I wonder how old. Have you looked at the dates on the? Foods? To be honest, the food would last you a month, maybe in here. I think. It's just really to hide out when the first one fall out. Oh, the first fallout thing, yeah. I'd like to see a date. I mean, by no means it would survive a, yeah. a strike. It's more. So you got bin bags. Oh, you know where to come now. Yeah. <laughs> and he's. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. Oil for his um, engine. Who's doing what? I don't know. Tampax. Oh, that's um, for the chemical toilet. It stops it stinking. It stops the chemical toilet stinking up. Yeah. Oh, so there's more beds in this side. Look, it's another shipping container. All oh, right. Yeah. Bags, sleeping bags, yeah. Enough toilet roll to last him a while. Yeah. <laughs> Press on towels. <laughs> yeah. For the uh, yeah, go, for the lady in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Right, this this is um, some sort of heater. This this is a heater here. Hmm. And that looks like a an emergency escape. That's been screwed on, that's an emergency, so you can get out of there. So there's going to be another escape way out. So we'll have to look outside a couple of feet to the left of this bunker for somewhere that he might have stashed away just to get out. Sleeping bags, sleeping bags, sleeping bags. If you had this many people staying in here, getting oxygen down here would be a problem. You'd have to keep the oxygen going, otherwise you'd, you'd end up uh, all suffocating down here. But uh, yeah, chemical toilet. There's a chemical toilet, look. Mm. And loads of chemicals for the chemical toilet to keep it smelling sweet. Uh, look at that, Frey Bentos steak and kidney pudding. Now these might have dates on them. Let's have a look. Frey Bentos, but they tell you, you know, when it's when it's good until. So like you know, used by you know, forty nine pence in Safeways. Look, and have you noticed it's so old this stuff? There's no dates telling you when it's running out by. It's pre pre dates like to tell you when it's safe. I haven't seen anything that's got a, a date on it. No, it's electric. Ray, electric. <laughs> Ray Electric. <laughs> it's all right. I've been up a while today, can't he's been He's been a busy man, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. smashing it up. You touch the morphine bottle, somebody's going to get poisoned. Oh dear. Lozenges. You said I can't touch it. Lozenges. 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 Lozen
chlorine. Yeah, there's yeah. some one down here called, is it, kalinomorphine <coughs> mixture? Kalinomorph <coughs> is for stomach, pro stomach problems. Oh, he's well prepared then, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm. I'm surprised he hasn't got iodine down here, actually, because yeah, iodine's for... Well, you noticed, maybe around this side, yeah. the little uh, yeah. megaphones. Megaphones, yeah. That's so he can shout to people. Yeah, yeah from the other side. Well, I think he's got an amplifier system, so maybe he's pumping music through to keep it sweet in here or something. Right, that's the shot I want. Hmm. I don't know whether some stuff has been stripped out of here because this isn't, by itself, this is not enough to transmit. See, this thing is a, an, an antenna rotator. So you, you basically turn it, and an antenna outside will turn around. Mm. So that's his antenna rotator, but there's no radio in here per se. President, that's an old CB radio. What's the burst pressure then? Well, I'm thinking burst pressure could be from outside because of the atomic blast, because you, you get like a that? pressure wave. Yeah. Well, it's got that, oh, it's all like that. There's even a, ra a shaven adapter there. Though. Yeah, yeah. So you've got battery. So you can just take the light off that bit. So I'm just trying to get a picture of how all the lights are. Yeah. There you go. Now, he's actually, he's got this the uh, manual mm -hmm. here for an old field radio yeah. but the radio is not here it's them in there did anyone ask it done has anyone told anyone we're in it <laughs> Alex well leave one here what in case we get like you oh, know yeah. so that looks like that's his water supply so that's his water filter so um Rainwater is coming in through these pipes. So you can see rainwater is collected from outside and comes in through this pipe and comes into this um, filter, probably. This is a filter yeah. of some description. And then uh, he's probably piping it, pumping it out to the top. But that's his air filters there. That's his air filter. Mm. There should normally be a handle for this as well. So you can manually wind it. But I can't see the handle. Hang on. Ah, here it is. Guess what? If your power goes out, you have to keep air in the bunker. So somebody would actually have to manually operate this. Here you go. You ready for air in the bunker? What? Yeah. See if you can feel it come out of the top. Right, I think I think that will go down when there's not not, not enough air pressure because that's an air pressure meter. That'll drop down. open and close for the filter. Let's try it again with it in the open position. Can you flip that, that lever? Flip it. Left to the left. Yeah. Ah, so you can't the pressure go up? Yeah. So you've got to keep that above the green line, see? You've got to keep that above the green line to get the air in you. If it drops down, like that... Yeah. Me, yeah, it means you're not getting enough air. So you've got to keep turning it to keep the air pressure up. Have a go, see what the pressure's like. That's why you'd have to operate it like in a nuclear warlock. Have a go at that. Don't let it go backwards because it'll fall off. 
keep it, keep it moving. Yeah, Steve's having a go. Yeah, a bit of momentum. Yeah. It's quite a bit of resistance on it. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right, come on. Ooh. I just wonder if... You can feel it. Yeah, you can feel it at the top there. Yeah. There's a bit of pipe going on to that. Uh, Probably, yeah. So here we go. What's in the hole, then? And all the spores on the back of the door. Spores on the doors. And the spores on the doors are nil nil. And that's where that little handle lives. Yeah, right. Now you know. Mm. Not to be opened until required for use. Civil defense Yeah. So that, that moves the air. That's the air filter. So that probably pops on here with something going up there so it probably has to sit in between mm. cool stuff what are these are mad didn't they I wonder whether this works. Well, try again. Don't try it when you're in there. It's very seized, to be honest. Probably would go even further back if we could pull it more. Yeah. Pull. Give it a give it a pull. Nah, it's seized. In the day, that would probably have moved very easily. The sump is for. Um, uh, flood water. Well, even if we don't explore the house, I think I'm uh, quite happy now. Oh, look, they had a uh, look. This is to stop people coming in. Look, that's their protection to stop people coming down here. A little hook, look. Yeah. Well, I did tell him we needed a hand yeah, lifting right. this up, but he never came in. I couldn't find him. Oh, that's it. He's not filming anymore. He's a bloody. He's a. Oi, oi, oi. It's oi. just in case film. we don't film anymore. Keep filming. I'm not filming. <laughs> it's in case we don't get in the house. Then I can just that's all right. Off. Yeah. And then, um, he can't wait to get out. He can't wait to get out. Look, that's what it is. Thing is, it's a lot there carrying all this. Yeah. When you're climbing. Al, you you can't believe what's down there, mate. You you not been down, mate? No. What? Yeah. Yeah. We needed we needed to get the um the door open to the bunker. What? I don't know, maybe you like drawing. Mate, you are gonna, you are just gonna be shocked. You are gonna be shocked, I think. This is like, a, this is like something out of the 1980s, like civil defense, protect and survive, mate. Yeah, but not like a baby one, a proper, proper size bunker, mate. What? Oh, wow, it's all right. Thank you. Hello. 
in history with rifles. <laughs> and Steve from scoring with him. Yeah, yeah that's right. Possible. Can you get in the house? No, I'm alright, thanks. Yeah. Don't like the sorbitol and aspartame, thank you. Sorbitol is a laxative, aspartame is a poisonous sweetener. He said, well, screw you then. <laughs> I'll never offer you another... another uh, What? Well, that thing. Yeah, I've been in all those. Yeah, there was another way to get out of this bunker. I don't know, but there was an emergency escape. There was an emergency escape out of back of one of the red. Yeah. Red hatch door. That's Sorry, right. That. Yes. So there was a there was a back way out, but I wonder whether you'd be able to spot it. Ah. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. Look, that's his emergency escape. Pops out there. Scrambly way up. Oh God! There's a bloody there's another building over here. Oh my god, look at this, swimming pool. Wow. Look at that. I mean like are we talking uh got too much money dot com got too much money dot com makes you sick doesn't it? See how the other half live. Oh my god. Yeah. You can have as many raves as you want in this place. Deep end bar. So some graffiti wankers have just sprayed utter gibberish you can't understand and then they'll get sprayed over and then somebody else will put some gibberish in you you can't understand and then that'll get sprayed over with some more gibberish that nobody can understand. Deep end. Oh, that's Doesn't it? it smells of chemicals, man. Mm. It's the uh, chemical room. Wow, goes down here to changing rooms, is it? Yeah, changing rooms and a shower. Wow. More changing rooms. And back, back entrance for chemicals. And uh, that's around the back. There's a caravan over there, dumped.
Wow. Certainly goes a long way. Noisy with the old motorway. A21 road. Fuel. Fuel oil. Look, scuba dive. Dive Extreme UK. Hmm. Diveextreme.co.uk. Mental. It's the back door. Ah, it does actually open as well. <laughs> Fuel containers. Wow. Outdoors. What's that then? What's all that about? Can't be a real well. No, fake well. How is all this abandoned? Question mark, question mark, question mark. It's a bloody big um, car park or something down there. It's big open space. Or is it a road going out into the forest? Look at that. There's a car park down there, effectively. Huge area. So we're on the back of the house now. Hmm. Got your lights still on? Pretty crazy. Big old steps up, big enough. Looks like this piece place has been sealed, smashed open, sealed, smashed open again. Barbecue. That sealed it with uh, expanding foam. God. Look how big this house is, come on. Really? This is friggin' massive. This is massive. God alive. Front door there. Somebody would have to walk all the way up here to put their bloody mail in. <laughs> oh yeah. So I bet this is not open. No, that's all solidly screwed in. Wow. Oh, I've seen better days. But it's all fairly tightly sealed. I don't know if we can actually get in there. Whether there will be a way or not. But everything so far looks locked off. Even upstairs look. Wow, look at this, a bloody garage, indoor garage thing. Look, back door, that's been opened and sealed a few times. That's locked with a key. Wow, there's a door open here. What to, I wonder? But all of that is just sealed. Wow. Oh, look, garage. Interesting. Pram. Well, 
Look at the size. This inside of this garage is bigger than my house. You know what I mean? It's just a garage bigger than my house. Yeah. You know it. Or as Dan would say, you already know it. Door there, look. I don't think it's even electric, it's just a manual push up door. Yeah, this garage is bigger than my house. It's official. Look at all this stuff, look at the photography. Um, that's a that's a photography uh, copier, copy photos. Wow! Look, you put your put your film on the top. Ah. Oh yes. And this looks like uh, stuff that you'd have if you're into doing a little bit of arts and crafts, keeping all your supplies. Hmm. Well, we'll be back in a sec. Yeah, you can see here, look, these lights to give a, as much illumination as you could up through here, up through this lens system. There would be a lens that locked into here. The lens has dropped away, it's gone. There's a lens that used to lock into here. And then you'd focus that down. Yeah. Gosh, this is mad. Mad, mad, mad. Oh, look. Cutting, cutting stuff. There's a toilet over there. In the corner. Pram. <laughs> Funny. No way in, I don't think. Nicht. Nicht. Nine entrada. Nos entrada. Sans. Sans entrada. I think we're screwed on the house. House is a no no. Hmm. Oh, look. Security cameras of some description. Look, I wonder if they're working. Can't imagine it, but uh, well, there we are, folks. Das is das. Das is das. I'm now going to go back to the car, I think, and then do a bit of drone flying. But that's me. That's me done. Oh, we could have gone have a look in these. Did I have a look in this garage? Not sure. Oh yeah, from that side we did, didn't we? Oh, somebody managed to open the door. Yeah? What? Pictures? It's a book. Of book. Oh. What was the blood? He must have been an author. Look. No way. Genesis, David Wood. Look. Genesis by David Wood. There's loads. Yeah. There's loads of like. It's esoteric books as well. Genesis, tar Target Earth, Ian Wood and Ian, David Wood and even yeah. Ian Campbell. But there's all. Like the what's the what's fish. the photograph in the back? Look. David Wood, Ian Campbell. Wow. Yeah. It's 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 his book. It's and it was all occult. Yeah. Genesis, the first book of look, revelations. Yeah, look. yeah. The pentagram and the serpent. Yeah. Right so there. I wonder if he lived here and died, or I wonder if this was his house. Like, you yeah, know, but the books are just pushed back all the way over there. So that is amazing. 
even to print that many books that are in there would cost a couple of quid per copy. So you're probably talking like about probably about thirty thousand pounds worth of books in there. Just prints. Yeah, that's just full of bloody you know. Mm, mm. So he believed in revelations and he wrote a book about it and he believed in having a nuclear bunker in the back of his house. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm going to go back down to the car if you wonder where I am. I'm going to go and I'll dr drone fly f drone fly for a bit then. And that's it. Big old NHS hospital over there, look. Right, and on that note, we'll say goodbye for the moment and we'll uh, catch you soon. So, you know the drill. Don't like, don't subscribe. And don't come in nuclear bunkers around uh, ex-authors' houses. <laughs>